Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces Round 873, and the problem is permutation swap. Now, uh, before starting, let me just quickly brief what a permutation is. A permutation is like uh, if you have a set of numbers, you are just rearranging the numbers, you are shuffling the numbers such that there are no more numbers or no less numbers. A number is also not repeated, okay, if and all numbers are distinct. Now, uh, so if the, in the question they are telling that you will be given an unsorted permutation of p1, p2 up till pn. Our job is you choose a constant number called as k. And what does this k mean is you, to, you take any two indexes, take the difference of it. That difference should be exactly k. If that is uh, satisfied, you can swap uh, the corresponding numbers on that index. So what does it mean? After swapping, after doing the operation many number of times, your job, our job is to make the array sorted. So let's uh, understand this with the help of an example. So uh, we can take the first example that is 312 here. So 312, the result should be a sorted permutation, right? Sorted permutation is 1, 2, 3. Now, what did these people did is in the explanation, they told you take the second index and first index. Okay, this is second index and this is the first index. You take the difference. They assumed that K will be one and they took the second and first index and they saw the k difference as 1 and they swapped it that is 3 1 got swapped to 1 3 and swap p2 and p3 again p2 and p3 means this 3 and this 2 that is uh, this is third index and this is second index the k value is 1 the difference between the index is 1 and uh, if you sort it it will be 1 2 3 after swapping it 2 and 3 swap 2 3 so you got 1 2 3 so with k value as 1 they are telling that maximum k value possible is 1 and uh, you got it now let's say one more example I think this will be clear here 3412 and 1234. Now uh, they are taking the third and first index. They assumed that k value is 2. They are taking the third index here and first index. 3 minus 1 is what? 2. So they are swapping 1 and 3 here. If they swap 1 and 3, it will be uh, if they swap 1 and 3, 1 becomes here and 3 comes here. Now after that, they are taking the fourth index and they are taking the second index. So 2 and 4, again the difference is 2 and they are swapping it. It becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. So here they took randomly k, but let's try to understand whether we can see any possibility. So what is in our hands? Our hands first we have uh, the difference, right? We have the uh, what will be the result we know, what is the input also we know. So let's see whether uh, something matches it or some observation or some pattern forms here. So here let's see, uh, you take the difference here to what does this different mean is see 3 is at the first position so in order to go to my respective position in the sorted array in order to go to respective position in the sorted array i need at least two steps or two units i need to jump to the after two units four to two i need two units again four should jump to two right now one to three again i need three uh, sorry two units two to four also two units since everything is two and i can do this operation any number of times i can simply swap here and there and there and uh, I'll get the required solution. That's all. So we got two. But let's try to take some other example and try to find out. Let's take uh, this example that is 153426. This is 153426. This is input. Output is a sorted permutation. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now let's take the difference. 1 is 0. It is already in the respective position. We don't have to do anything. 5 minus 2, 3. This means what? I need to move at least three units. This is also 0, this is also 0, static, 2 to 3, this is 3, and this is 6 to 6 is also 0. Now we can see here that both of them are 3, I can simply swap this together. So the answer is also 3 here. So this is also not clear to us. So let's take one more example, let's take this one, 3, 10, 5, 2, 9. So this one is a very big example. Now what do I know? This is the input, this is the output which I already know, I'll see the difference. So for this one, the difference will be, so this the difference is 2 and 10 minus 2 8 and 2 this is also 2 and this is 4 and this is 0 0 0 and this is 8 and this is 6 now uh, the numbers are different there are some static numbers there are some very big numbers also so what do we understand here here if you see right uh, for 1 to 9 I need at least 8 units to cover to go back to my respective position our aim is always the k value should be maximum. So with 8, is it possible to go back? With 8 means 
all the jumps should be eight okay so suppose let's take uh, four this is the uh, so suppose one two three four right you need to cover uh, four units so it will be like this so i just have this value here either i can move here or i can move here i can't go less either i can move here or i can move here if i move here then this guy might be having problem right if this guy will go to eight this guy will go to four or something like that i don't know four is here also eight can come here suppose here two comes this two guy will come here then this two might not have a chance to jump to its respective position two is very small but four's jump is very high so we say that okay it is not possible let's take the minimum number if you take the minimum number uh, then how does it look like it look like something like this okay if it's something like this i can swap these numbers then i can go here and swap this then if 8 comes i can swap this number anything is possible because 8 is actually made up of 2 right 2 multiplied by 4 times is 8 instead of 8 one jump i can make it to 2 2 2 2 2 2 like that so here what are all the distinct numbers we have 2 4 and 6 and 8 so since the minimum possible value is 2 i am fragmenting everything to 2 here so i'll take k value as 2 and k value will be satisfied so 2 is a factor of everything okay if i take 8 the middle values can't be jumped or swapped together because 8 window size is very large the, you can't move it right so similarly if it is 2 it will be much easier 6 similarly 6 it won't work now let's try for a hypothetical situation uh, so here what did we see the minimum factor will be the answer now let's take a hypothetical situation let's say uh, there are many numbers here okay uh, so suppose here many numbers are here and here also uh, you have uh, many numbers and you have difference coming as 2 here and uh, these are all zeros and you have difference coming as 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so some random examples now uh, if i take 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 if i take the window size as 7 if i take the k value as 7 is it possible for me if i take k value of 7 can come here okay this is some example there will be some value here i am not considering you can just swap here and there but 2 no can this 2 come here or 2 can come back no it's not possible right because this window size is very large if k value is 7 so what will we do we need to reduce the window size to 2 that's what we found out okay we'll sign the uh, smallest number if i take the window size as 2 what happens is in terms of 7 it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 then to reach 7 i should have 1 1 extra this is not possible k value should either be 2 or k value should be either be 7 or k value can be anything 1 also so here we understood that if it is 7 it is so large we can't move the window if it is 2 uh, 7 there is some exception that is thrown that is after 6 units it is it needs to shrink it to 1 then only 7 will move so what is the difference here is it because odd and even number modulus and 1 no since here we understood that this is the minimum factor here there is no common factor so common factor here is 1 now let's take a composite example we understood it's a common factor now if you take something like 4 and 8 right 8 can be fragmented to 4 and 4 so the answer we already got it what did we see if there are many numbers find the common factor out of the common factor they told k should be maximum so if we translate it it becomes the highest common factor in order to know the highest common factor we already have a function on c plus plus that is very famous and that is gcd if you find uh, the greatest common divisor of all the numbers if you put zero right zero comma any number gcd is same number only so what did i do here you take the vector and most solutions are of the same format you take the number and you see the difference between index uh, it's one based indexing and the number so why are we saying it in order to move to the corresponding element i need those much number of steps to cover so all those uh, number of steps i am taking putting it here and whatever is the common factor like i can fragment the bigger ones to smaller how much minimum i can fragment uh, i am getting the greatest value out of it so that will be the answer so uh, maybe uh, the only thing that we can do is you can just try out all these examples so if you are able to figure out it will be very good
so that's it guys thank you so much uh see you in the next video if you like the video please consider subscribing and also share your comments we'll be glad to help